Hey everybody, today we're gonna to take a look at how we use the invoicing module in the platform, okay? How we set it up and how we use it. So first thing I wanna to bring to your attention, the dashboard, every time you log in, this is where you go. Uh, this is connected to your invoicing module. So any invoices or bills that you input into the system will populate here and I'll show you that in a second. So the first thing, uh, click on the generate invoice link over here on the left and you'll see the settings tab. So you click on this and you're able to see, uh, I'm going to delete this, you're able to see uh, all of the invoices, all, all of the emails that go out for different uh, types of events that happen. Okay, up here, basically the next invoice number, uh, the prefix, the next receipt number, all these things are pretty self-explanatory. You just put in whatever, you know, populate this with whatever you want, like, you know, the next invoice number could be, you know, 001 or whatever you want it to be. Um, you're also able to customize these emails a little bit, and uh, how you can do that is put your logo in, in place there. Now, when you click the image um, icon to add an image here, um, it asks for a URL. And we use a, a tool called postimages.org, postimages.org. Google search it, you'll find it. Uh, you're able to create an account for free, it costs nothing. Upload your images there, and all, this, all the images in the system need to be uploaded this way. So uh, it's a good idea to have it. I'm going to copy this link right here and come back over here and paste the link. Now, once you paste it, you should be able to click the insert button. Uh, but in this situation, I can't for some reason. Uh, sometimes that does happen. Just click on the URL and hit the space bar, like I'm going to do now, and then you'll see the insert button works. So I click the insert button, and now you can see I've got the image uh, in my uh, body of my text, of my email. Okay, keep in mind you can customize all this stuff. The placeholders are right up here above each each uh, email. Okay, so they're all right here. You can copy and paste those placeholders into the, uh, into the email. Uh, you're able to um, customize the message to say whatever you want, okay? Uh, coming right down here, um, the email from, the name who it's coming from, so if it's your business name, it could be ABC Apps, uh, and then the uh, email address it's coming from, okay? Uh, you're also able to customize the date format. So once I hit submit, that will now save everything. Uh, the next thing I'm going to bring to your attention is the connect to PayPal and Stripe. When I click, click on PayPal or Stripe, I'm able to connect my PayPal or my Stripe account. <clears throat> so whatever you do, just, uh, whichever one you're going to use, you can use that, and that's where the payment links are going to go. So when you Set, when we hit the settings link, um, uh, button over here and we inserted the payment link in your invoice, when this invoice goes out, your clients will be able to pay you right by clicking uh, on this payment link. So whatever the invoice is, a thousand bucks, two thousand, whatever that invoice is, uh, it will say right here. Um, they will click it and they'll go right to your PayPal page and be able to make a, pay, uh, uh, a payment right away. So you're able to use this thing to get paid as well. Okay, so that's done um, and everything's all set up. Your PayPal account's connected. Uh, we'll come over to invoices here. I will add an invoice. Uh, I'm gonna make up a name. Let's go to demo client. I'll save it. Obviously, whatever information, uh, I gotta add some info here. So I'm just gonna put uh, 123 in the street. Okay, do it properly. Street, contact number one, here we go. Email info at myappco.com. I hit the save button. Now this will this will become a client in your client list over here. Okay, I can go to the items and I can start typing things, custom mobile app, whatever, whatever your things are. And as you type more things, these things will save here as well. My price, I put a price in here, you know, 1500 and how many units I'm selling. Okay, number one, hit save. You can just keep adding items. By the way, if you want to keep adding items, you can do that. Uh, I'm gonna delete those. Under the options tab, you have the ability to change currencies. We've got Canadian dollars and US dollars set up today. Um, we'll add more as we go. Uh, the date, you can change the date, any notes you've got, any descriptions on what this is, custom website, any information that should be pertinent to the invoice can be pasted here. If you're going to give them a discount, you can put that here, and then you've got two tax fields that you can add as well. Uh, once that's done, hit save, and the invoice is now has now been created. If we check it, you'll see a draft of an invoice. Um, so in order to, to make convert this in from, from a draft to an actual invoice, you need to hit the send button. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the send button, and now you'll see this is now an unpaid invoice. I come back over here, and it's now in my unpaid column. Okay, okay, so I can see uh, all my drafts, I can see all the invoices that have been sent, I can see all the ones that have been paid, I can see all the unpaid, the refunded, and the archived. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty uh, you know easy to understand. Uh, looking at right up here, you can see we've got invoices, we've got recurring invoices. So you can set up invoices that are recurring, same kind of thing. Uh, as the other one we just looked at, I'll, I'll use the demo client in this uh, example again. I save it. I'll add a, let's say, a subscription fee. Uh, monthly fee. It's going to be $100 a month times one. I'll save that. I'll come over here, and now I'm telling the system, uh, I'll give it a name. So I'll say it's uh, you know, demo client. 
and then I can tell the system how often this should be generating invoice weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly, annually. So these are all the options. I'll say monthly. I pick my currency. Uh, if I check this, it will automatically send this, uh, this in, uh, client an email every month, whatever the, the next date would be. Okay, I would select that. And then again, notes, discount, taxes, all that kind of stuff can be set up. And now this will be an in, a recurring invoice. So every month uh, on the 17th of the month, this client will get an invoice from our system every month. Now you can do the same thing with bills. You can add bills, you can add recurring bills, you can add clients. Um, all that kind of stuff can be done right for the invoice monitor. It's a pretty, pretty good feature to have. Uh, you don't have to go anywhere else for it. You don't have to pay anything else for it. It's all built into our platform. Again, you can use this to send out to your clients. They can pay you right through the system and you can keep a track, a history of all of the stuff that's been going on in your, in your, uh, in your business. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Before I let you go low, check on the dashboard and now we can see that invoice I just created is popping up right up here. So now this is looking at the month of October only. If I click on the settings bar, I can check out uh, this month, the last three months, the last six months, the, you know, the calendar year, I can see invoices and payments. I can see invoices, expenses, whatever uh, I want to see. So I'll, you know, click that and you can see now it changes uh, right away. So where did my invoice go? Last 12 months. Uh, 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 oh, I got payments received. Sorry, invoice totals. Here we go. So now there's the last 12 months. I can see my invoice. I scroll down. I can see the uh, summary. I've got accounts receivable. Uh, it's also showing right here. All right. Thanks for watching.